What if I told you that making t-shirt graphics like this was as simple as coming up with an idea and typing it into a program? Would that blow your mind? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you and the video starts right now. This is T-Shirt Help This, I'm Gary Ejenay, and let's use artificial intelligence to make some T-shirts. If you can think of a T-shirt idea, you can have the graphic in minutes. Matter of fact, seconds. So here we are in Kittle. Let's go over the new project. Go down to hit enter. Now go down to AI. Now you're gonna look up here and you're gonna see this feel right here, right? This is where the magic happens. So here we go. I'm going to type something in the effect of giant octopus monster, like Godzilla, climbing the Empire State Building, city skyline in the background, terrorized people running in the street. Something like that. So after that, we're gonna go down and we're gonna hit generate image. And we're gonna let this thing do its thug thistle. So it's gonna go ahead into creation mode and in a couple of seconds, bam. Look at that. Let's uh, let's blow this up a little bit so you guys can really see it. Look at this. Uh, and this came from an idea, right? In my mind or soon to be your mind. Guys, most of the time when you're doing t-shirt graphics, print on the man, any of this stuff, you're gonna need a transparent background. And now you see this has a gray background and with all AI platforms, you're gonna have a background, right? Even if it's white. With other ones, you have to upscale it and then take it into another program to remove the background. But guess what? In Kittle, it's all built in. So let's go over here and you can just click AI background remover. Now you see it got rid of most of it, but there's a little bit here, but fret not. You can go right here with your eyedropper, pick the color. And then once you choose that color, you can go back here right to intensity, right? And you can move that back and forth to just see how much of it you want it to uh, get rid of. And once you have it exactly where you want it, there you go. Now guys, if you saw my video that I did on AI t-shirt creation with Kittle, some of you had some things to say. Some of you said things like, you know, oh, you can do this in mid journey. And you mentioned Leonardo, but here's the deal. Those things are great, but they have a flaw text. They are horrible at doing text. So I went into mid journey and I use a really similar prompt and it gave me something cool, but it didn't have the text. Then I did it again and I added the words add Octo Beast in front of the prompt. And this is what I got. Now look at that. Look, look, look at these. I mean, these look great. They're not necessarily t-shirt graphics, but look at this text. Look at the type. What language is that? So let me show you what you can do on Kittle. So let's go right here to text. Now you can click it and just start doing something from scratch. I like to go through these templates, right? And the one that I really like to do is the decorated, right? I'm going to hit show all. And what I like to do is go down and see what I like and then just click on it. And when you click on it, it pops right on the page just like that. So we're going to do a few here. I really like this blockbuster one and we're going to do a few more just to kind of see what it can look like. So let's go down this one, that one, that one and this one, right? Well, you know what? I really like this blockbuster. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna click on it, and then we're gonna add the term uh, Octo Beast, right? And then we're going to um, add that color and we simply eye drop the color that's already there. And uh, we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. And uh, then we're gonna take the artwork and bring it in front. Look at that. So let's get rid of all the other stuff. And I really like this, but you know what? This kind of looks like to me, it looks like, um, you know, one of those, um, those Japanese inspired monster movies. So let's add some Japanese text, right? But there's a little trick to this. So you can go into Google or Google Translate, right? And then I put in octopus in Japanese. And, and I, I felt, felt like, like that, that was, was a little too, too short. short. Then I wanted something a little different. So I put in beware the octopus in Japanese, right? And when I brought it over, I felt that it was just a little bit too long. I felt that the character was a little bit too long. So then I went in and I put 
octopus monster. Still too long that I put in bad octopus. Love it. So I copied it and I pasted it, right? And I found a really cool font in Kittle. Kittle has a great font that has Japanese characters. This, this one, one is, is called, called Monchly Pop. Pop. And I had it at the bottom, but eh, I moved it up to right below the title, right? But I still felt I needed something at the bottom. So I went back over and I put in Run For Your Lives. Eh, still too long. So then I shortened it to just run. Brought it back over, put it on the bottom. Perfecto, all right? Done deal records. And that's one hella cool t-shirt for that ass. And also the link for Kittle is gonna be down in the description box and pinned it to the comments. All right, guys, AI is taking over. You can get with the program or get left behind. I want you guys to check out this video that we did on AI with Kittle. And also check out this Kittle full tutorial. Hit put the button on my shoes and slide on out the door. Peace. God bless. T-shirt help, brusque.